Yeah, sure. Um, this is Angie. I'm calling from Berlin, Germany. Okay, hello. How are you? Good afternoon. Thank you. Afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm Amber Chai from Amber's Bay in Limbe, Victoria. <laughs> there is no such thing as Limbe or Victoria. I'm a Bunda, okay, whatever. I'm, I was born in Victoria, I was not born in Limbe. So okay, I that was then. Was that was back then. Do you do you know where Victoria is? Do you know that was the slave name that was given to us by the British who colonized us? Yes. Right. So are you still are you still are you in support of colonialism? Are you in support of colonialism? Why are you are you insisting that they should call it by its colonial name? Why should the name be changed? I'm living in the Cameroonian street in Berlin, Germany. Why do they call it Cameroonian street? Because the Why Berlin No, 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 listen. Call, call Let me African answer. Street. You ask a question. Let me answer. Okay. They call it Cameroonian okay. street because the people in Berlin decided to call it Cameroonian Street. Okay, so why can't it be that the British decided to name Victoria Victoria? Why did they, did they not name the whole of Southern Cameroon Victoria? Okay, let me. No, 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 no. You ask a question. Let me answer. Are you going to ask a question and then answer yourself? Okay, no, no. Okay, then go ahead. Okay. I, I, my brother, first of all, it's not that, it's not that like we are going to query, you know, Sean. It's just that, that I've been following your, uh, I've been following your communication that you're making on your platform. Yes. So I don't, I really sometimes, don't, I, I really sometimes don't understand where you belong. Are you for the struggle or you are against the struggle, or you are against just what is happening with the government or you are criticizing just the interim government? Okay. Or the leaders of the Good question. Government. I don't understand where you belong. Good question. Or are you, are you just about being there on social media? to get views and make money are you going to ask a question and shut up let me answer that is how a conversation works okay okay i am 100 percent against ambazonia it is my intention and it is my mission to destroy ambazonia does that answer your question okay do you come from that county I come from, I, I I was born and raised in Cameroon in Momo. Okay. Then why are you against the the struggle? Because they are a bunch of liars and thieves and they are deceiving my fellow brothers and sisters and sending them into the forest to go and die for nothing. That's why. And they came to kill me in my own house in Cameroon. But you are presently in the UK? Yes. So if you are against the, the struggle of Amazonia, why did you call for the government of Cameroon to give you their support? Because you are one of those that are against the struggle. Who tells you I don't have a support from the Cameroon government? Who says? Why did you, why did you who tell? Who tells you I'm not protected? Okay, you went back still to UK, the county that colonized the Southern Cameroon. Yes. What is your point? I've been living in the UK for twenty years. Okay. So you are totally against the separation of Southern Cameroon from from, from East Cameroon. No. That's not what I said. I'm not. That's not what I said. I said I am against Ambazonia. You can separate all you want. As long as you don't you don't lie to people. As long as you do not give guns to my poorly educated cousins to go and be killing each other, kidnapping people for ransom, raping, mutilation, beheadings. As long as you don't do that, as long as you do not stop children from going to school, you can do whatever the hell you want. I don't live in Cameroon. I told you I lived in London. I've been living in London for 20 years now. I don't. I, I. I. used to own properties in Cameroon, but not anymore. So you can kill yourself all you want. That's your business. As long as you do not kill and lie to people to go and be dying in the forest for nothing, I'm fine. Okay, my brother. If I 
if I if I may ask, if I may ask, what do we understand by a revolution? That's your business. What does that got to do with me? Because are you aware of the fact that this were two Cameroons? That's not your that's not my business. It's not my business. What does that got to do with me? We just happen to be like victims of circumstances. We are all in this issue. So is it a wrong thing? If we want to separate, we want to break up from the people. It is very obvious. If you have gone if you have read history, you will realize that in every part of the world, a part of Gambia and Senegal that they came to a union and separated without any bloodshed. Oh, so you are, you are, so, so, uh, you, you, you're calling from Germany and you say that the separation cannot happen without bloodshed. Why are you not in Cameroon shedding your blood? Why are you sending other people to go and shed their blood? I'm living here before this thing escalated. So what? Go back and shed your blood for the independence you want. Why are you still in Germany? It will be the same thing. If I go back, I will still take arms. It will be, they will come and Why are you waiting? Why are you waiting? Go back. Go back to Cameroon so that your own blood should be shed. It's not just my blood or it's not just my cousin's blood and my relative's blood that you've radicalized and sent them in the forest. Go back to Cameroon. All of you people that are saying this nonsense in the diaspora about, oh, we have to shed blood to get independence. None of you have gone down on the ground in Cameroon. None of you. Let me tell you what, let me tell you, listen, listen, let me, let me, listen, let me educate you about the reality. It is not the Cameroon government that started the armed conflict. It is Ambazonia. Okay. They started, listen, listen, I've got only two minutes. Let me explain. They started Ayabacho, they rad through Mark Barretta radicalized these boys for several months beginning from around the January 2017, radicalized them. They even, do you know that the Amber Boys registered and paid money to join the Amber Boys? 30,000, 50,000 francs. I talked to them every day. I was live on air on Facebook Live yesterday with Kawa Yannick. He would tell you they were paying money to join the Amber Boys because they were told by people like Mark Barretta that they come the gov they already separated the country that the united nations were already in ambas bay they were waiting that they the already two countries they need to register to be in the in the ambazonia military many of them registered paid money to join the amba uh, ambazonia military they were taken into ajaso in nigeria for military training ayabacho are you listening this was around this was months this was months before october the first so now they radicalized these boys and then they went now and started killing Cameroon soldiers, attacking them in their military post months before the, the so-called uh, October the 1st March in 2017. Do you understand? That is the reality. What happened, what, what happened, what happened when the students of the University of Buya, when they were on strike in their campus, when, did, did they have any arms? No. The conflict have not Okay, is it normal for military to go and brutalize students? No. In their unit? That's the most protective. That is the most protective part of the world. Okay. The country. You yes. asked a question. You've asked a question. Let me answer. No, it is not normal for the military to, to attack students. No, it is not normal for the military to attack any unarmed uh, uh, people. No, it is not. So, what's your point? Okay, I go to another point. When we have strike. When we, we have a strike in, in, in Saudi in Cameroon, let me not call it Ambazonian because you are not happy with the name. I'm when not. we have a strike in Saudi in Cameroon, okay, when we have a strike in the country that is inside the country, yes. they send the bees. But when they have a strike in Yaoundé, the police are controlling the strike. Why is it like that? It means we are not part of them. They kill our own people, but they don't kill their own people when they are striking. They have been demonstrating in Yaoundé and Douala. Have you had any destruction? Yes. Have you had people killed? No. Have you had mass people killed? Okay, but 
why when we are making the same demonstration for our own right, because those people in Yaoundé and Rwanda, they demonstrate on their civil rights. When we are making demonstration for our own civil rights, they send the military, not the police, the armies, the bees. They created those bees for us. Those bees was a plan. <laughs> okay, are you are you going to ask a question or you're going to give me a lecture? I'm just trying to make you to understand what is going on. Oh, maybe you don't know exactly what is going on. I understand, I understand, but let me also tell you this that these Amber boys were radicalized and they were trained in Ajaso and they were sent into Cameroon to instigate the Cameroon military to make the military shoot at them so that they will they, the, the Amazonians in the diaspora like you. We take those pictures and go on social media and cry genocide, genocide, genocide. That is the tactics you people have been using. You people are prepared. Like you said that you cannot have a revolution without spilling blood. But you sit in Germany, just like Ayabacho in Norway and the other uh, ones in America. You sit comfortably in Europe and you say that they should spill blood other people's blood you instigate these boys and you and you feed them with tramadol and then you send them to go on a suicide mission when they get killed you take their pictures and you go on social media and you cry genocide that is your mo that is your your tactic it's not worked because not a single organization in the world recognize ambazonia not a single country in the world recognize you people. Even though you've been crying genocide, genocide, genocide for how long now, no one recognizes you. No one no recognizes that there is any genocide happening in Cameroon. Yes, the Cameroon military fired on students or whatever, which was wrong. I do not ac accept, accept or agree with that. The U.S. Congress does not control Cameroon. Do you do, do you people understand what is happening? The U.S. Congress only said they are calling on the Cameroon government. They cannot order Cameroon to do anything, nothing. Exactly. When was the U.S. was the U.S. government controlling Zaire before they sent the governor to 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 to, to, the, to, to the president Mobutu? They sent what? They controlling? What are you talking about? I don't even know what you're talking about, so I cannot I cannot respond to that. You have to look upon humanity. Those pictures, those pictures that I've been showing. Okay, it was nice. I am at opted for a self defense. For a defense group. It was not self defense. It was not self defense. He started the, the the war. The war he launched against Anglophone Cameroonians. He started it. The Cameroon government were not shooting. Listen, the Cameroon government was not. The Cameroon government was not shooting at us. Ayabacho was the one who went and trained those guys in Ajaso in Nigeria, brought them into Cameroon to go attacking the military positions. And when you attack the military, what the hell do you think would happen? The military will come back to look for the criminals. Where have you? Where have you? Where have you? When did you hear in the world that when when people are when students are going on strike, army goes there and rape them? I don't, I've never, I've, I've never heard of it. You see, okay, it happened in Buya. Okay. You saw how they were drafted, they went, in, they went even to those, because in, in every society, there are some people who are not concerned. Yes. Okay, there's some, there's going to be a party today, I will not go for that party. And if there is a radicalization in the party, you will come and remove me from my house, say, because I am a student in that campus. Okay. Okay, that was wrong. The Cameroon, the Cameroon government has done a lot, a lot of things that are wrong. A billion things that are wrong. I agree. They are going to get, they are going to get their result out of it. So, okay, let me ask you. Okay, you're saying that the Cameroon government is going to get their results out of it, but 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 the question is, why did you call me? So no, I called you because I wanted to know exactly where do you belong. I have already okay, okay. Now, now, do you understand where I belong? Yeah, I have followed most. I have followed most of your of your of your uh, your, 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 your messages from your platform. Mm -hmm. Your report. Okay, I, I think it, isn't that you are there to expose the the, the, the wrongs of the leaders of the Amazonian? Yes, government? yes. Or you are there to tell the people that this is what is going on. You people should be to be to be attentive. Because they are deceiving you people. Yes, it both. It's very obvious. Both. In every the diaspora plays the game. If our own people, I also know that some of our people have thought it wise to use this this conflict to make their money. 
it is obvious. Exactly. We don't know what happened to yeah, we don't know what happens in the other country until the final is succeeded. But the issue is that we have put the lives of eight million to ten million people in the hands of some group of people. If they will be able to free us, it, to free some body is not a must. You might succeed and you might not succeed. So why why do you people go forcing why do you Amazonians keep forcing people to buy to buy their ideology, not by force? Must I be Amazonian? Must I follow you? Must I must I we don't, because we don't realize and see, we don't realize and see, if we continue to live with these people, I mean, they, they put weed right deep, they don't, they don't really finally assimilate weed, finally, finally, they don't, they already 95%. You go for down beach for, for Victoria, now French, they be talking for inside Victoria. Limbe, Limbe. I will still call it Victoria because that is where I was going to sit on my birth certificate. Don't don't my call it when you are talking when you are talking to me. Don't call it Victoria. I am not a slave and I don't belong to no British colony. Cameroon, uh, well, I live in England, but Cameroon is a sovereign state, and the, and and Cameroonians they don't change the name, the slave European name. Where colonial masters that we give that our beautiful town, we don't change them into Limbe. Limbe na Cameroon word. It means something to an African. What does Victoria mean to you, an African? You slaves and you, you people with your mentality. I don't know what to be wrong with Una. Una always try to kiss white man and ass. When you look upon, if you look around the world, when people do colonize people, you should ask yourself, why is it that they speak French in East Cameroon? Well, the, so so the, then then why are you complaining that they speak French in downtown in downtown Limbe? Why are you complaining that they speak French in downtown Limbe? Is that not also a colonial language? So what? It is a colonial language. Am I the one talking against colonialism? Now you now when they talk about against colonialism, but then when they go take foreign foreign European name, when a Victoria, English Queen in name, can't and send a name for Una City. Colonial masters them when are the craze, when I not get one eye sense. When they talk against colonialism and then when I when I foster colonialism at the same time. But on the people, why you not go blame? Why you not go blame Australia? When they use that name for almost all no the Australians, they don't accept them. Say they they not they not talk against uh, colonialism, are they? You are the ones talking against colonialism. Australians and now Europeans they go colonize them and then they form their country for day and the inhabitants for 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 Australia where they get the power and the majority. Now European people then now white Caucasian people then. So why they go talk against colonialism? <laughs> When we go back to your own country where you belong, where you say you are standing for them, the did, did I ever tell you that I... Listen, don't put words in my mouth. Did I ever tell you that I was standing for them? Did I ever tell you that I was Francophone Cameroonian? Did I even tell you that I was Cameroonian? They are using colonial, they are using colonial language as well. Right? Yes. I did, not say, I did not say they are not using colonial language. You are the one talking against colonialism, not me. I'm not trying to say I've been listening to your things. I hear sometimes how you are against you, you attack um, sometimes Eric Dato. Yes. I ask Eric Dato, what do you have against this? I asked him, Eric, what do you have against this man? This is my country people. You know? Because I listened to what you were talking about one of his uh, video he made. So I said to him, then he said to me, and say forget about this man. This man is a madman. I said, but I listen most of the time. He's true. I mean, if we are if we are exposing our own secrets to the to the to, to the colonial people, what do we expect? How do we come up from it? <laughs> to the colonial people. Now man this way one it want me to call him Bessie Victoria. You did talk you did talk against colonialism, but you want me to call him Bessie Victoria. Because when they go colonize we completely, the la, la Republic, when they go colonize we completely, they will change that will south west and north west to become something different. No, we get choice. They say can't change them from Victoria to, to Limbe. Will not be get choice. They can't take we generate away if we wait with Victoria believe them. Oh sorry. Um um ma ma tell you something. Why I, I still don't understand why why did you call me? I feel like you don't waste twenty minutes of my life. Why did you call me? I call you to ask you what is your what where do you belong? I don't already explain. I don't already explain them for you. Is that enough? Do you understand now? If you don't belong, if you don't belong to the Ambazonian struggle, yes. the Saudi Cameroonian struggle, yes. you stay away and stay quiet. No. Why do you want me to stay quiet? Why do you want to shut me up? 
You are a shell out because you are taking information from us and give it to the Republic. Okay, you don't, don't, Republic. okay. Oh, listen, 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 listen. There is a simple way, there is a simple way you can solve that problem. Stop giving me your information. If you don't give me the information, I will not leak it out. Okay, so you are in, you are an insider who is selling out information to the colonial the republic. Right? Do not, no, do not give me your information. Okay, how did you? Let Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you a simple question. You said you've been listening to my platform. How did you find out about me yeah. or the information that I have? How did you find out? You watched them on YouTube. Exactly. So, so the information I put, I broadcast it. It is not a secret. It is not like the information I have, I go and hide it and I give it to some Cameroon secret or whatever. I broadcast the nonsense on the website that I created, on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter. So the nonsense when I brains the surely never go switch I'm on. The nonsense way when I talk say this, so I did, I did give information to Cameroon authorities. I did give the information to Wuna as well. I did give the information now to Amber Boys. Those are the people I want to talk to the most. Because now the people there, when I don't radicalize them, lie for them, and then send them for forest, may they go die. When I talk say, when I must shed blood for get independence. But you dare you for Germany. On the 4th on the fourth of May, that was last week. You mentioned you talk about the issue with um, with Nambere and uh, what you think like it is going to change in 24 hours. How many hours does it need for money to be transferred? Uh, does it need hours? Ten minutes. Does it need seconds? Seconds. Uh, it has been transferred. Uh, yes. You, you make the action. If one minute is finished. Yes. You sign and you go. Yes. You call your counterpart and you think, okay, go and pick this money, this and information. Mm -hmm. It will not take you up to ten minutes if it's fast and waiting for it. Uh -huh. What's your and point? You tell your mother, you, so, but now, I want to ask you something. So when this trouble gets finished, you are somebody from Bamenda. Are you going to come back to Bamenda? Yes. Hell yes. Try and stop will me. You be, will you be happy? Will you be happy to come and live in a country where some people have struggled and spilled their blood and died for it? That you are against people people dying for that struggle. You are against the point people dying for that struggle. So now some people already dead and for the struggle for the to, to be successful, you have to give up your life. It's just like Jesus took our sins away. Some people have taken the, 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 their, their lives away for the country to be liberated. So you now who is in UK from Bamenda, you will come one day with your family. Oh, home is home, right? Yes. The home is home after some. Uh, the home will be home after some people must have struggled and died for it. Yes. Then it will be home. Yes. So this is what I'm trying to. Exp I'm trying to know from you. Are you going to come back one day to Bamenda? Yes. Party? Yes. Because when you, when you come back to Cameroon or you go back to Bamenda in this northwest province, will you be happy at this time? The country will be called Ambazonia. It will not. First of all, it will it will never ever ever be called Ambazonia. Not while I'm alive. Okay. Let's wait and see. Okay, let's wait and see. Goodbye. Thank you. So my country people then that is exactly what it is like to talk to an Ambazonian. That is my life now. These people call me almost every hour because I have a voice, because I have an opinion that they don't like. They try by all means to try and silence me. But they're not trying to silence Eric Tato, the person that went and said that you should cut children's hands that want to go to school. They don't want to silence the Ayabachos of the world who actually sent his gang to go and kill Amber Boys on the ground. They are not trying to silence Akwanga, who has sent his boy Sokadev, the Munyenge incident, to go and kill Amber Boys on the ground in Munyenge. Those are the people that have spilled blood, the blood of their own so-called Ambazonians. But no, those are not the enemies. Those are not the black legs. I am the black leg because I have a voice. I speak my mind. 
These fools keep saying that I am leaking their information to the Cameroon state authorities. Leaking information, the information that I broadcast publicly on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter, and I share it everywhere on my WhatsApp. I broadcast the information. It's not a secret. I don't hide it. I don't hide the information. The fools are, talk, are saying that I should not be taking their information and sending it out to, 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 to the so-called enemies. So, simple solution is stop giving me your information. Stop it. If you don't lie, I will not call you a liar. I provide evidence with everything that I say about them. So if I say that Sako Ekome spent X amount of money, it's because I am reading it from the financial audit that you yourself did. And then you, you, you released it to your own internal cabinet. So how the hell do you think I got hold of the document? Am I in your cabinet? Wonder foolish international idiots.